process of transfer has started, yes. That's probably easier for you. Okay, I'll give you a few lines and then you can print it. All right? Okay, just send me a WhatsApp if you could. I can indeed confirm that the process of international transfer has commenced. The Israeli authorities were expected to ensure the secrecy of the transfer operation and to ensure maximum respect for Ms. Leifer's dignity until she left the Israeli jurisdiction. This clearly didn't happen given the fact that photographs of her being led in handcuffs and leg cuffs were leaked to the press. Upon arrival in Australia, Mrs. Leifer will be quarantined and will appear by video conference before a judge who will formally confirm her identity and read her the charges. We hope that she will be held in a place of detention which will respect her religious beliefs and allow her contact with her lawyers and family on a regular basis. Given the coronavirus-related restrictions affecting all aspects of Australian society, I don't expect that a trial will take place this year. Today's extradition of Mark Khalifa back to Australia after many years of struggles and obstacles. It's a momentous day for justice uh, and incredible for her alleged victims in particular, as well as sending a, an incredible message to other survivors that justice will ultimately prevail. We hope it's a great day for justice and we're seeing positive developments and etc etc. From our perspective it has taken way too long for this process to unfold. Uh, we've seen over 70 hearings to date and now finally Michael Leifer is in Australia about to face justice. So we welcome this incredible development but we also hope that the Israeli authorities will review Israel's judicial system to ensure such a case won't happen again and we also hope that Australian authorities will prioritise this hearing and this case to ensure that justice now comes swiftly. Um, yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, people are relieved. Just um, that's exactly. I mean, that's... It's also important that the Australian authorities fully investigate who authorised her escape from Australia in 2008 and hold those from the Adas Israel community leadership to full account for aiding and abetting back then an alleged criminal, hopefully very soon a convicted criminal.